Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. I'm on a campaign of E uh not E War, the Kingmaker. Um last time we were with our neighbor that year um uh Runholm with uh Mega Var Mega Varn. Mega Varn I think it is a total name, yeah. The Baron Mega Warren. I'm not sure why we went there. We were invited, but then there was nothing to do there. Which is um interesting. And when we left the city, we were brought south to the small area. Or well, it's not small, I believe. It's rather big. The silver step or something like that. Village. Oh, we could climb down there, but I really didn't want to do Also, we died once. Um, we have to take care of it. There's something up there. Ooh. House. The way seems clear. This house used to be neat and cozy once, but now it looks almost abandoned. The door is shut closed. It's not tight. What's that? Um, before you is a pile of torn sheets. It gets scribbled on and she. What? Uh, steady handwriting. The text is faded and almost unreadable. Okay, let's take the letter that we can read. And all of this. Let's read the letter. Oh, my cat is leaving. That's okay. Okay, uh... You know, Lissa, my father always used to scold me, saying, Eva, you shouldn't wag your tongue so much. I never listened. Remember the day of matchmaking? The headman's son came to you, gave you those nice boots, only sitting in his wear, and his servants brought a barrel of honey and a crate of salted fruit. Then Manga the smith came, brought an ornate door casing, skillfully crafted lock, and piles of other housewares, and said he was going to decorate a house for the two of you with all he crafted. I came late in the evening, after all of them had left. All I brought was a bunch of wild flowers. I set them on the porch and said, I saw <coughs> Nixie crying in the forest. She'd planned to make a lantern of my heart, but she found my heart was already taken. It's bad fortune to make Nixie cry. So, Lady Bissa, would you go to the forest and give the heart you've taken to anyone who may need it more than you? <laughs> Told me I was such a fool, and then you kissed me. For our wedding, you invited your relatives, the old miller's widow, and stupid Aisel, Aisel, the fisherman, out of pity. I suspect, as no one else wanted to spend time around him, I invited frogs, wind, and the full moon. Brother Moon, I said, please be so kind as to share your light with everyone. My bright tires of shining over the soil alone. The frog sang along with Aishel, and you were more beautiful than the moon and more cheerful than the spring wind. Eri was about to turn five, and Mika was just four, and I'd spent a month dragging through the cliff and cursing the stupid villain who just wouldn't be lured when I finally lured her. I chased her through the bushes, collecting her silver scales here and there after they fell. It wouldn't have been so hard to decorate our garden with those scales if I hadn't done it at night. Then the morning came, and our children went silent, their mouths agape. Hundreds of silver lights sparkled atop apple and cherry tree. I hid my scratchy hands 
my scratched hands in my sleeves and thought, isn't this natural? You've never noticed before how the stars hide in the trees from the evening you looked at me without a word, but I couldn't, could still hear your words in my mind. You're such a fool, Eva. I love you. I don't remember how I came up with the story of the silver bullet. I came home late with a black grouse. I'd shot him dead. It was a hard fight. I just didn't aim properly. This dragon kept peeping out from the clouds blinding me with his shiny silver wings. You saw a real dragon, Dad? Not a whole dragon, no. You see, the only way to see the dragon is if two loving souls climb up the cliff under a new moon hand in hand. At the time, I wasn't thinking about how dark the night was or how steep the path to the top of the cliff was, especially from the feet or how wet the rocks were after the rain. I was just looking at you, wishing it was, it was us. Two loving souls, hand in hand, sneaking away up to the sky. We did, when we weren't that much older than Ari and Mika. The next morning you woke first, and it was you who found our children's beds empty. Beds empty. Oh. I see what happened. You said nothing to me then. Not then. Not when we walked through the misty woods. Not when we found Mika's stall at the start of the path leading to the cliff. You kept silent as I ascended from the chasm with Ari's body in my hands. You said nothing when I shall brought Mika's body found further out at the lake or lake shore near the cliff. You're such a fool. You beg your tongue too much. It was just a story. Another of your stupid fairy tales. How could it end this way? I'm so sorry, Lisa. Better you'd married the smith or the headman's son. Or even stupid Aisha. And anyone but me. It's all my fault for being me. And let me go. Today I'll go to the children's graves and... Okay. Yeah, okay, I think that helped her, that you killed yourself, stupid hunter. Okay, what does this say to us? Probably nothing. Not sure. Pretty sure there are some monsters around. Oh, there is a giant poisonous frog. Okay, let's, let's just Everything let's just price. kill this frog. Death awaits. What's new? A clever ploy. Mm-hmm. awaits us. I am your shield. You cannot stand against me. Can't I? Really? You roll the one. This starts well. Oh! There's a myriad as well. Hmm. What in the all standing? Okay, you didn't do this, but let's do it now. Put hmm. a shield on yourself before killing yourself. There's a frog. Walk, walk. Let us strike at once. 
Okay. These frogs are not really hard to. Oops. And there we go. <laughs> A large water element. Okay. That's nice. Um yeah, let's let's try to hit this guy. No. Ah, too bad. I'm stupid. Okay. Um Let's do also a prayer. The water elemental really looks strong. Mm -hmm. I'll loot your corpse. Okay. These are only level 2 animals. This is the reason why we kill them so easy. And why they don't hit. Um, Do not hold us. Really? Okay, Chupidost. Oh, 44 points of damage. That's a lot. Mm hmm. Oh, there are two of them. Who's that? Where is she? And Nixie pranks. Oh, there she is. Uh, not inspired. <coughs> oh god. He seems strong. We didn't find anything about them. Okay, um, let's just say, let's, let's just backs. try to keep, try to, to kill her. Okay, Regongar. Yeah, you have to hit to cut her. What did happen? Okay, um... Yeah, you could just... Haze of Dreams, hmm. And did it work? Okay, I don't know. Hmm. Mira 
image, yay. Um, yeah. We'll just try to kill her, because if we kill her, the water element should be done as well. Um, let's just summon some of these and can deal with the mirror images. Wait, what? She can't do anything about it? That's not nice. No. Let's just throw this again. Really? Only four points of damage now? How can this be? Ah, because he didn't hit her right. I see. Your life ebbs low. Yeah, probably not. Displacement, yay! I really hate you. Oh great ability. Your death awaits. Dragon Gar Kill. Die for me. Okay. Um normally I would say uh try to despicable. Hmm. Okay. Huh, can you do something now? Great. Okay. Oh, that's not nice. <sighs> what a waste. No, ah, uh, I'm so stupid. I won't attack you. Yeah, anyway. We are now here. Another displacement? How many displacements do you need? Is it better if it cast if it's cast two times? Okay, um yeah, oh okay. It worked. Uh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> Advance. Hey, one of the mirror images is gone. As I said, another mirror image gone. No, go away. Stupid water elemental. What is with you, Jubilos? What happened to you? 
Why are you losing hit points? Confused. Oh, interesting. Become as dust. I didn't see that. Oh, come on. The displacement? This is interesting. I'm pretty sure you don't need it that often. On the other hand, it probably it 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 it, should, it truly helps. I mean, for me. I don't hit you. Probably working. <laughs> Come on. Yay. The weak suffer. I endure. Do you think so? Okay. Um I think we lose, right? Primitives. Ah, I'm so stupid. Oh. <sighs> he should throw bombs. Oh, God, come on. It's there for nine rounds. You really don't need it every time again. Um, okay, uh, what do we do? Do we heal ourselves? Probably better. Mm -hmm. Come on, skeletons. Oh, kill another mirror image, that's nice. Kill another mirror image. And hit her. Okay, don't forget. Just take the bomb. Hit her. Yes, that's nice. This is the way. And now she's even burning. Forget the displacement. Okay, um... What's that? Um, Chaos Blade, one friendly creature touched in range. Too late. The practical horror. Ah. All text made against targets in this armor. Wait, what? Made against targets in this armor, including you. In a moral bonus on damage equal to half your level in the class that gave you access to this domain, all critical threats are automatically confirmed. These rounds do not need to be consecutive. Why not? It's an aura, so. Why not use it? Repent. 
a bit late, but yeah. Another displacement, that's good. Um Your death awaits. Oh, that's that. Wretched things. So two rounds left Something like that. Okay. Your life ebbs low. Another displacement. Yay. I really like this. Of course, it run, ran out. Despicable. <laughs> Another mirror image. They st she still had a mirror image. Interesting. How many mirror images do you have? Yeah, that's it. Will become visible now. What are you doing? Oh, you're confused as well. <sighs> you're not hitting anything anyway, so you can still do eating don't make yourself invisible again what did she do yeah she made herself invisible again that's great for one minute it's 10 rounds oh anyway we are still hitting her oh she's invisible Hmm. Yay. How long does the confusion still work? Oh, it's over now. Good. Waste. Yeah. So for the gripping, yeah, yeah, okay. That's not nice. That's really not nice what happened here. And they don't even have a lot of treasure. And the frogs either. This was a hard fight. That's not nice. You shouldn't do this game to me. Okay, uh sorry, was lost in thought. Request Heal yourself. And you heal as well. Nice, okay. Let's move on. Probably we will find the village. Oh, there is a work. Hmm. Are we able to kill it without getting killed? I'm not sure, but we will see this only next time. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye.